If you're thinking about becoming a cybersecurity engineer in 2026, then you're about to make a costly mistake. I'm Suleiman, and I've been in tech for more than a decade, and yeah, I might not look that old, but I'm actually 29. Now, throughout the last 10 years, I've worked as a software engineer, to cloud security engineer, to senior cloud architect. Now, I've worked across the entire tech stack, and today, I run my own consultancy. Right now, I've noticed three fundamental shifts happening that are making it nearly impossible for beginners to break into cybersecurity. And that's why, in this video, I'll explain exactly why you shouldn't become a cybersecurity engineer and reveal an alternative path that gets you into tech faster with a similar earning potential and job opportunities. What I'm about to share comes from both sides of the hiring table. As someone who's worked as a real engineer for Fortune 500s and startups, but also trained more than 600 people to switch to tech in my academy. Let's dive into three reasons why you shouldn't become a cybersecurity engineer. Starting with the first shift, the experience paradox. Here is what the data reveals, and it's shocking. According to the ISC2, the cybersecurity workforce study, the largest survey of cybersecurity professionals in the world. 45% of hiring managers admit their organizations are reluctant to hire entry-level employees with little experience. Let that sink in. Nearly half of all the companies don't want to hire beginners, but that's not where it ends. It actually gets a lot worse. There's a massive disconnect right now between what a hiring manager expects from entry-level candidates and what's actually realistic. And maybe you've actually experienced this already when you've applied for cybersecurity roles without getting any sort of luck. Now, let me give you a perfect example example of this disconnect and it's regarding cloud security. You don't need to know much about it other than the fact it's the number one technical skill that hiring managers say entry-level candidates should know. Okay, great. So what? Well, there's a catch. Only 18% of managers believe cloud security tasks could actually be handled by entry-level professionals. 46% say you need junior-level expertise, which is at least three years of experience at the minimum. Now, do you see the problem? They want you to know cloud security to get an entry-level job, but they don't believe entry-level people can actually do cloud security work. This catch-22 has been plaguing cybersecurity for way too long. Now, you need experience to get hired, but you can't get experience without being hired. So the question is, why are companies so reluctant to hire beginners when they desperately need people. Which brings me to shift number two. The threat landscape has become too complex for beginners. 75% of cybersecurity professionals view the current threat landscape as the most challenging it's been in the last five years. Cyber attacks are getting more sophisticated. Nation state hackers, AI powered attacks, the threats are evolving faster than ever and people are struggling to keep up. The option to just learn on the job is quickly disappearing because the stakes are simply too high. When you're a cybersecurity engineer, you act as a last line of defense against any potential breach. One mistake, one misconfigured setting, one misvulnerability, and your company could be on the front page news. Plenty of those going around recently. And when the average data breach costs just under $5 million, and that's not even accounting for the reputational damage, it just makes hiring managers think twice when they're looking to bring somebody in. Now think about it. Are you really going to hire someone who needs to learn 10 different technologies whilst also protecting your company? Of course not. You're going to prefer someone who already has previous IT experience and worked in the field. And it's become so complex that over half of cybersecurity workers say they don't have enough time to learn new skills. So if engineers already in the field working day to day can't keep up, what chance does a beginner really have? But here's where it gets even worse for beginners. Shift number three, AI and automation is eliminating entry level roles. Now, according to the ISC2 study, 51% of cybersecurity professionals believe that AI will make certain cybersecurity skills become completely obsolete. And this isn't some future prediction. 64% of organizations have already started using Gen AI in their security operations. Companies are using AI to watch for threats, respond to attacks, review security logs, and write compliance reports. And that's precisely the problem. You see, these are exactly the jobs that beginners used to do. All of that is either automated already or becoming automated really soon. So what happens to entry-level jobs when all the entry-level work is automated? They quickly disappear. Well, not entirely because obviously they need to have some open jobs, but the opportunities that were there, let's say after the pandemic, are never coming back. And increasingly, the jobs that are left over require years of experience, like designing security architecture, understanding how security impacts business operations, making tough decisions when there's no clear answer. These aren't things you can just learn with a cybersecurity degree or some certifications. They come from years of hands-on experience. And then how do you get the experience when the entry-level jobs don't even exist anymore? The truth is, 
you can't. One senior engineer using AI tools can now do more work that used to require two or even three entry-level engineers. Companies are getting more done with fewer people, which is great for their bottom line, but obviously terrible for anyone trying to break in. So what should you do instead? Is there a better entry into tech for beginners in 2026 that offers similar job opportunities and pay to cybersecurity? And yes, there is, and it's cloud engineering. You know how you can watch Netflix from any device anywhere in the world. That's powered by the cloud. When you click the play button, that video has to come from somewhere is obviously not magic. That video is stored on a computer and it has to be sent to you in real time. And it's not just sending a file. It has to find your movie from millions of options, check that you're allowed to watch it, remember where you stopped last time, adjust the quality for your internet speed, and then stream it without buffering. All of this requires serious computing power. Now multiply that by millions of people watching it at the very same time, and then you can start to begin to understand the scale of this problem. So how Netflix gets around this is by renting computing power from Amazon Web Services. Amazon has spent years building out the IT infrastructure that allows any company to simply plug in and rent computing power from them, just like you do with electricity in your home. Now, as a cloud engineer, you're the architect making sure that apps can handle millions of users, data stay secure, and everything scales smoothly. With that said, there is three reasons why cloud engineering is the better path, starting with reason number one is beginner friendly. Unlike cybersecurity, companies are actively hiring beginners. And take my students as an example, Mac, Jay, Alex, Tashvik, Leticia, John, etc. I had the same experience when I went from zero to cloud hired in just 90 days. And right now there's over 7,000 cloud engineering roles in the US. And every day, new ones are being listed and we're only covering the ones I'm talking about on LinkedIn. Now, AWS has announced there's a global shortage of 6 million cloud professionals. But wait, you might be thinking, if it's such a good opportunity, then won't everyone else rush into cloud engineering and take all of the jobs? Well, the cloud computing market is projected to explode from $900 billion to $5.4 trillion in the next decade. It's exploding with opportunity, which brings me to the second reason. You're learning the most in-demand cybersecurity skill. That's right, cloud computing is the number one most desired skill for cybersecurity roles, according to hiring and non-hiring managers. They are looking for candidates who are experienced in cloud platforms, infrastructure security, cloud data security, and cloud architecture and design. When you work as a cloud engineer, security isn't an afterthought, it's built into everything that you do. Every system that you design has to be secured by default. Every deployment needs proper access controls. Every piece of data needs to be encrypted. You're mastering the skills that cybersecurity teams desperately need, which means when you eventually apply for these roles, you're not just another candidate with certifications, or a degree, you've actually got real hands-on experience, which is exactly what they are looking for. That's exactly how my student Daydream, a former teacher, attacked this opportunity. She learned cloud engineering and is now working as a cybersecurity professional. So yeah, it works. And reason number three seals the deal. By learning cloud engineering, you are future-proofing your career with AI. Here is something most people don't realize. The AI revolution everyone's talking about is actually only possible because of cloud infrastructure. Every AI breakthrough that we hear about in the news has been enabled by cloud computing. Without cloud engineering, AI simply doesn't work at scale. Now you can have the most advanced AI model in the world, but if you can't deploy it to millions of users simultaneously, then it's simply worthless. Cloud engineers are the ones who make AI accessible to the world. That means as AI continues to grow and the hundreds of billions of dollars continue to be pumped into AI, the demand for cloud engineers grows with it. We are not being replaced by AI, we are the ones enabling it. I know what some of you might be thinking, but I really want to work in cybersecurity, that's my passion, and I get it. And here is the thing. This isn't about giving up on cybersecurity. It's about taking a smarter path to get there. When you eventually transition from cloud engineering to cybersecurity, you won't face the difficulty that you do right now. But also cloud engineering is quickly becoming the foundation of every single role in tech. They all benefit from having cloud knowledge. Whether you're a data engineer, AI engineer, or software engineer, having cloud expertise and cloud knowledge gives you the edge that you need in the market as most people still haven't adapted to this new reality. If you're worried that cloud engineering is too technical or too difficult to learn, I've had someone who was a former banker with no IT experience get hired, or John who went from literally no IT experience to hired by AWS in just over six months, or Silas at 42 who was working for a nonprofit, but today he's a platform engineer. Again, zero experience. So it is possible. You just need the right system in place, but most importantly, you have to start. Take the first step and you realize how quickly you can build the momentum from there. Now look, I'm not saying cybersecurity isn't a great field. 
it is. There is massive demand for cybersecurity professionals, but trying to enter cybersecurity directly as a beginner in 2026 is just simply setting you up to fail. Meanwhile, cloud engineering offers abundant entry-level opportunities, teaches you the number one skills cybersecurity teams need, and provides a clear path to cybersecurity in other roles in tech. And this isn't just advice for beginners. If you're already in cybersecurity, learning cloud engineering is becoming non-negotiable. Now, you can't secure what you don't understand. And right now, everything is deployed in the cloud. If you don't understand how these systems work, how could you possibly secure them? That's why cloud security is the number one skill gap in cybersecurity teams. In fact, one of my students is a CISO, a cybersecurity compliance director, and he's learning cloud engineering. So take that as you will. So whether you're trying to break into cybersecurity or you're already there trying to stay relevant, the path is the same. Learn cloud engineering. As always, I'm rooting for your success. Good luck.